Yeah! Hello everyone, welcome to Bayern Now, the ultimate Bayern Munich fan channel. Oh, I love these videos where I can just talk crap about that beta male club, Borussia Dortmund. But seriously, I really do enjoy what Unai Hohn has said about Borussia Dortmund. He basically called them a freaking child that freaking tries to not piss themselves. That's what Dortmund are, man. And he criticized their transfer policy, which I completely agreed with. And Dortmund's board came out and said the reason why Bayern are so frustrated it's because we missed out on Jude Bellingham. Uh, <laughs> they're making Jude Bellingham seem like the second coming of Michael Ballack. He's not. This kid is just some 16-year-old, 17-year-old kid that isn't even eligible to play for you. Is he? I don't know. But seriously though, Dortmund men are just a weird club to me. Dortmund are like a guy, very good looking guy, but they don't want to go for the freaking good looking girls. They always ask out the six and ten and the fives and the fours and the threes because they know that they have no confidence to go for the good looking girl when in reality they're actually a very good looking Guys, so that's what Dortmund are to me, and once again, they're showing their incompetency as a club. I say it with Dortmund, and I say this a lot. A lot of Dortmund fans are watching this channel now. I don't know how you found this. Well, welcome. This is the best Bayern Munich fan channel in the world, the ultimate Bayern Munich fan channel. Look, we're, <laughs> we're going to talk about this, and I'm going to criticize your club, but you have to take it from my perspective. When I look at Dortmund, I don't see a club that is... I see a club that makes a lot of money and has the potential to be one of the best teams in the world, has the potential to be a top 7, top 10 club because they make a lot of money. They have the atmosphere, they have the stadium, they have the players to be there. I see a club without ambition. That's what I see with Dortmund. I see a board that prefers to make more money than win more trophies. If your board genuinely cared about your club as much as you might think they do, just because some of them are ex-players, you would see you actually invest players and buy good players. Look at Ferran Torres going to Man City. Apparently that was a Dortmund target. We just saw Akraf Hakimi go to Inter Milan. Dortmund are a better team, better club, better everything than Milan right now. But Milan just have a project that Hakimi went to. But not only that... Hakimi probably wanted to stay at Dortmund, but you know what Raphael Hollingstein said? He actually said that Hakimi wanted to stay, but Borussia Dortmund thought spending 40 million on Akra Hakimi wasn't worth it. It was a luxury. So you know what you did? You bought some 28-year-old freaking, might as well just get in a coffin now, retired old grandpa player called Thomas Mounier. That's what you did. You got him for free because he's free and he won't cost much. But for me, when I see Borussia Dortmund, I see a club with lots of potential, but they just don't want to use it. Their fans, your fans are amazing in your stadiums, but outside of it, you're a bunch of little P-U-S-S, you know the rest. That's what Dortmund are to me. You're a bunch of poo, yeah, 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 yeah. We won't say the word. You're a bunch of those people. Because you come out and you complain like, oh, Bayern Munich are winning the trophies. And rival fans, people across Europe complain about Bayern winning the title. Oh, Bayern take Dortmund's best players. Oh, Bayern do this. Why do you think that is? Why do you think players, after a few years of Dortmund, want to leave you? Because you sell them off anyways. It's how you run your business. I used this analogy before and it worked. Dortmund are like a farmer, an animal farmer chicken farmer, right? Instead of you actually rather keeping your chickens and raising your chickens and then producing eggs and then you sell the eggs, you'd rather just raise a chicken, sell the chicken, get a new chicken, sell the chicken. Eventually, it gets a very, really, really, really repetitive and it gets, and it looks like you don't want to make money because, of course, one dozen eggs doesn't really make it, but then over time, you will make the money. You will start being in profit and that's the thing. You'd rather win trophies by just doing it once every 10 years than actually build a team that wins trophies consistently. Imagine Dortmund versus Bayern actually means something because it technically doesn't. I think I have more fun with Bayern playing RB Leipzig than I do with Dortmund because we know the end result of the Dortmund game. You're just chokers. You're bottle jobs. And people like to you know, criticize Bayern talking about we buy rival players. We don't buy rival players. You see what Bayern do is, first of all, we've spent more money, actually less money on players from other Bundesliga teams than we have spent, than Dortmund have. Dortmund spent more money than us. That's the difference. But the actual difference is that we buy players with a plan to win trophies, win titles, win the Champions League. Lothar Mateus said it perfectly. I'm not really a fan of ex-players saying and having opinions or, you know, just 
I, I don't really like when people value their opinions. Well, I value your opinions just as much as I value their opinions, by the way, because, you know, everyone has different opinions and it's all about fans. It's all about us and, and our different opinions. But Lota Mateus said something that I completely got spot on. He said, Bayern Munich want to win the Champions League every single season. Borussia Dortmund are fine with second and they're fine with winning one Pokal every four years or something like that. And that's the truth. Dortmund will probably go on and win a trophy soon. That's the thing. They'll probably win a DFL Super Cup. The next one we'll play. They'll probably go ahead and do that. And their fans will be smiling saying it's a trophy. But what you don't realize is that you are being overused. You are a customer. Football is a capitalism game. If you see the teams that are coming up now. Herder Berlin just signed a goalkeeper. A good goalkeeper. They're looking to want to challenge for titles. They're not looking to just be in Europe. They're looking to challenge for titles. Leipzig just signed two players. They lost Timo Werner. Guess where that money is at now? They bought themselves Benjamin Henricks, one of the best up and coming right backs, especially in uh, German, right? They also bought the uh, striker from Salzburg, the Hyung Won Chan guy, very, very good player. And that's the different level of ambition we're talking about. Dortmund will sell Sancho and put that money right back in their pocket. They won't spend it. They won't buy a Ferran Torres who's going to Man City for like 25 million, right? <laughs> they won't buy a Hakimi who went to Inter Milan who to actually strengthen and keep their team at a certain level. They will not do that. You had a manager who bottled nine points in the league from February, Dortmund won nine points clear. And as the months went on until the end of the season under Nico Kovac, one of Bayern's worst ever managers, <sighs> you bottled the title, you bottled it. You lost to Werder Bremen in the Pokal under the same manager. Clearly, it's a mentality issue. It's not about quality. Werder Bremen were fighting relegation. Did they stay up? Goodness gracious. I don't even know what happens in this league. <laughs> I forgot. Did they stay up? Well, Paderborn went down, didn't they? Right. Fortuna Dusseldorf, did they stay up? Well, Werder Bremen... No, they did stay up. Right. Bremen stayed up, I think. And Dortmund struggled to win against a relegation team in the Pokal. That's the level of stupidity and mentality we're talking about. At that moment in time, it's not about Bayern having more money than you or having better paid players or better players. It's about you losing to a team you shouldn't be losing to. Dortmund go ahead and lose games all the time. They draw games, drop points where they shouldn't be dropping points. And then they complain when Bayern Munich win the league and talk about how we have players that are better or we have more money. We do have more money than you. But it's not down to the fact that we just have better money or we just have rich owners. If we were Man City and we had more money, you'd be like, ah, I'd see where you're coming from. But we don't have better owners. We don't have like some owner. We don't actually even have an owner. Bayern don't have an owner the same way Dortmund don't have an owner. We have shareholders, right? Of course, people that uh, hold the big place within the club. We don't have shareholders, actually. Right. Bayern isn't a public company, right? It's a, like a little institution it's like an organization right it's a sports organization with ceos and presidents right that's what it looks like, like a little country right there but we don't have owners the same way you don't have owners we don't have this unimaginary money coming out of nowhere the money we make isn't down to anything other than the success we're getting on the pitch so if dortmund focused on success on the pitch rather than success in the financial market and the transfer market maybe they get more money if you win the Bundesliga two times, maybe people will actually start looking at Dortmund like, ah, wow, I'll buy a shirt. Maybe people will actually start watching more Dortmund games and being like, okay, this is a team. And actually, you always talk about getting in the Champions League. Getting second, oh, we're in the Champions League. <laughs> Here's the thing. The Champions League makes you more broadcasting revenue. That's the truth. That's the only reason Dortmund want to be in it. Right? It's not because they want to win it. Because if they wanted to win it, they would get to the semifinals at least. But they don't want to win it. Their criterion for their squad is to get to the Champions League and get to the knockout rounds. That's where you you, you lose 2-0 to PSG after a 2-1 lead. That's the type of bottle mentality we mean when we talk about Dortmund. You just do unnecessary things like lose 2-0 when you don't need to lose 2-0. You can just draw the game versus PSG and win. You can just win. You can get out. You can do something wonderful, but you don't. You never do anything. You're just useless in the Champions League. I turn into a Dortmund fan when Dortmund are in the Champions League. And you do nothing, absolutely nothing in there. You go in there, 
and you look good. You beat Inter Milan. Oh my goodness, you're in the you you put Milan in the Europa League, and I was like, dang, you they can go on and do something, but then you just lose. You just you win first, and then you lose. You can win one 0 and I'm like, okay, all you have to do is protect that one 0 lead. Go draw, but then they lose. They just they man, Dortmund are so they're so hopeless. They're they're literally useless to me, and I. I find them so annoying and irritating as a Bayern fan to just watch them. And we're hoping that other teams push them over the edge. I need Dortmund to be out. I said it myself. Leipzig will be the first team if they keep their best players and also keep Julian Nagelsmann. They'll be the best team to beat Bayern and get their first Bundesliga title. I'm saying it now. Leipzig will win the Bundesliga before Borussia Dortmund do. And that's a fact. I'm saying it, and I'm saying it with my chest. Leipzig will win the Bundesliga before Dortmund do. Okay? You saw what Leipzig did? They sold Werner. They made three major things. Upamecano, new deal. He was linked with Arsenal. Hyunwen Chan, Benjamin Henricks. Three players that are better than what they currently have. That's what, that's what we're talking about. That's the level we're on. They're still in the Champions League. Oh my god, Dortmund lost to Spurs and I lost my head. I acted like a Dortmund fan, man. I lost my head when you lost against Spurs. You lost so easily. Like, you were, you could Spurs weren't even that good. Spurs were not that good. They had a, uh, I was, in my in my head, I was like, Sancho is going to do crazy things to Otto or Vertonghen, who's playing left back last season. You did nothing, man. You did absolutely nothing. My problem with you, man. You do nothing. You're so useless. Look look at Leipzig beating... Like, Leipzig gives me hope, man, that we can have a competitive... Well, not competitive, but we can have a better opponent, better challenger. Because it's important for Bayern to have a challenger that's actually challenging. All you do is you look good first half of the season. You look amazing. And then the second half comes, you lose to terrible teams. You bottle points you shouldn't be bottling. And you can leave that down to Bayern having a world-class season. But why is my brother calling me? But thank you everyone so much for watching. I think that's my sign. Well, memberships are coming on this channel. If you're watching to this point, I just want to see uh, Hedja BVB. Right. I just want you to type that. So I'm confused. But thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And the memberships are coming. Right. A lot of people are messaging me saying they're joining. And that's amazing. But thank you everyone so much for watching. I got to go open the door. Mia San Mia and peace.